In part one, we learned how sophisticated LIDAR technologies allowed more precise mapping of the Rogers Creek fault system to the North Bay, revealing a longer and more complex fault system. In part two, the legacy of large earthquakes in our region and how local geology increases the impact of large quakes across populated regions of Sonoma County. Our seismic history here in the North Bay has been long and dangerous. Flanked by the San Andreas to the west and the Rogers Creek system to the east, Sonoma County has repeatedly been rocked. The 1906 Great quake on the San Andreas caused land movement of more than 10 feet in western Sonoma County, and damage was proportionately greater in Santa Rosa than most anywhere else. Along the Rogers Creek, scientists have studied fault cross sections. The last large quake, they believe, was in the 18th century. We're overdue for another of at least seven on the Richter scale. Worst case scenario, it could involve the Hayward Fault because the two faults are likely connected, and it could be a little bit larger than that. So, yeah, potentially a devastating. Um, earthquake in terms of the magnitude and severity of shaking. This simulation, movement magnified greatly, theorizes a 7.2 quake propagating northward along the Rogers Creek Fault. One likely scenario, the shaking is magnified as a tremor reaches the sedimentary layers of the Santa Rosa Plain. And that's critical to understanding how Santa Rosa and other large cities in the Santa Rosa Plain, like Rotard Park, have been affected by major earthquakes in the past and may be affected in the future. Basically, the sedimentation basins act as a magnifier, increasing the duration and intensity of shaking after a major earthquake. You get amplification of, of seismic waves in these deep basins like we have in Santa Rosa and that you have further south and all around the Bay Area. This fascinating graphic illustrates relative shaking based upon geology, horizontal velocity increasing in the deep sedimentation around Santa Rosa. This finding a key to understanding why past quakes like the Great Quake of 1906 have been so devastating. Even though the actual surface break of the San Andreas Fault was clear out of Bodega, the, the level of shaking here in town was tremendous because of that amplification factor. Also recently, a probable link was established between the Rogers Creek and the Hayward Fault, running the length of the East Bay. Experts believe they may have in the past and could in the future break at the same time. It had been suspected that these two faults might be connected, um, and so they found in a study that yes, there is a fault that connects between the two. So that potential for those two faults to go together is certainly there. Importantly, the longer the break, the larger the potential quake. So how do we prepare? Well, it turns out we already have. The 2017 firestorm pushed forward disaster preparation throughout the region, which also applies to quakes. Preparing for things such as wildfire, um, having your emergency kit, um, uh, that that plays right into any kind of hazard, such as earthquakes, shaking. So, um, you know, any kind of hazard preparedness is a good thing in terms of earthquake um, readiness. The next large one may be months or many years away, but experts stress understanding its probability and impact should guide our planning right now. In Sonoma County, Carl Van Emberg for News of the North Bay.